All right, guys, I'm back. I kind of missed the forest after uh, spending all that time in Miami. I, I love Miami very much, but it's, a, it's an incredible high energy place. And it's always nice to get a little peace and a little balance in my life. So I'm back in the forest. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well. It's just 10 uh, things that will improve your life. Now guys, you truly understand the gift of life that just being alive, being healthy, being able to see and walk and stuff like that, everything else is just bonus. Number two guys, this is incredibly important. So important guys, get your physical health in order. Okay, if you need to lose some weight, lose some weight because every day that you let go by that you're not happy when you look in the mirror, you have that inner battle going on. You have that conversation going on like, I'm not good enough or I'm not attractive. If being overweight bothers you, fix it. If you're eating bad food, correct that. These are things that you can challenge yourself and you can accomplish. And when you accomplish those things, your confidence is going to go through the roof. So get your physical health right. You'll feel better about yourself. What? Let's go. Another beautiful day down on Key Biscayne. Life is so good right now. <clears throat> Guys, you have to create your end story. It takes a lot of work and a ton of discipline, but it's worth it. Guys, number three is incredibly important. I almost wanted to put it as number one because it's so important. Get your mindset right. Work on your mindset. If you're in the right mindset, everything in your life is just going to come together. So. It really should be number one because if you're not in the right mindset, it's going to be difficult to accomplish everything else. So work on your mindset. You see my other videos, how I mindset. I do stuff like this. Walk through the forest. It's all about your mindset. And you have to fix your mindset and you have to do the work every day. And you have to put yourself in a position to win. And this is my happy spot down here, Southern Florida. And that's why I'm here, and I feel like a million bucks. Guys, I like to go down to Miami a lot, and exercising really helps me out, and uh, stuff like that. So work on your mindset. All right, guys, number four. This is very important. Cut back on your vices, guys. If you start chasing alcohol or drugs every day, you're, all of your, your strong energy is gonna be pulling you towards that, and. Uh, catching that buzz and feeling like that. Whereas your strong energy should be pushing you towards living a healthier life, acquiring a better mindset, therefore your business or your professional job or whatever your, your, your goals are in life, they're gonna become a reality a lot easier. And um, yeah, so cut back on your vices. And guess what guys, vices can be sugar and you know, caffeine and cigarettes, just everything, guys. So try to work on that, and that will improve your physical health. And when you put those together, excuse me, it improves your mental health. Oh, this one's really important, guys. Stop blaming others. If your life sucks, well, going through a divorce, um, that is kind of a small excuse. I'll give you a little mulligan on that, but in general, Stop blaming others for your issues. Look inward. I look in the mirror. I started looking in the mirror when I was like 23, 24, young, young guy right out of the Marine Corps. I had to look in the mirror and say, nobody gives up about you and get your life squared away. And I did. And um, you know, I'm very successful and I'm very humble. But you know, you don't wanna just listen to somebody on YouTube or TikTok that's not accomplished trying to tell you how to be successful. It's foolish. Um, so listen, look inward. I had a lot of issues. If you blame others for everything and you just have that bitterness, well, guess what? That's why your life sucks. Guys, this one's important too. 
challenge yourself daily. This kind of goes back to physical health. If you're overweight or you're underweight and you're not happy with how you look in the mirror and you start improving the way you look, that improves your confidence. So that could be a challenge to get your physical health in order. It could be to learn another language, although I'm trying to learn Spanish, but I'm clearly not smart enough because I can't get past like, uh, como esta? So anyways, no, but give yourself challenges. You have to challenge yourself every day. And you want them to be small enough where you can uh, accomplish those challenges. But every day you should be challenging yourself in one way or another. If you're an alcoholic and you drink 10 beers a night, drink five tonight. See if you could do it and do five every night for like a week. And then be like, hey, let's see if I could do three beers next month. And that's how we do it. Number seven, guys, get your freaking horse blinders off. In other words, don't just look like straight ahead like a horse, right? Because they got their horse blinds. Look around you. Look at everything you're missing. If you're just looking forward and you have your horse blinders on, you're missing the big picture. You're missing everything. You're missing all of this, okay? And guys, this ties in with mindset. And, and gratefulness and all this other good stuff. Like if you take your horse blinders off and start looking at issues from other people's points of views, whether it's your wife, your kids, your coworkers, and you're toxic this and they're toxic and they're this, they're that. If you take your horse blinders off and look around, um, you'll see things a lot more clear. and you'll have a uh, more balanced approach to everything in your life. So tunnel vision just leads to a dark tunnel and a dark end, okay? So take your horse blinders off, expand your mind, expand your horizons. Number eight, I learned this as a young Marine. Leadership by example is everything. If you're walking around the house screaming at your old lady or your husband or whatever, you, you know how your kids are going to treat their wife or husband, right? If you show up to work late at your business and everybody's waiting for you or you're late for meetings, well, actually, if you're that person, you're never going to be successful because leadership by example is everything. You know, Elon Musk used to sleep in his warehouses or his factories, whatever it's called, um, for months on end to be there with his workers. And it's just, it goes back to the old um, Marine Corps adage of leadership by example. I'm not gonna ask this Marine to do something that I would not do right next to him or her or that I have not done. Leadership by example is everything. You can't just, I'm not gonna lecture you guys. Leadership by example. If you're a worker bee and you're, you're you're expressing this through your daily activity, your senior management will recognize it and you will rise to the top quickly. You know guys, here's, here's a secret on that, or a little tidbit. You guys are all very smart, so I probably shouldn't even say this, but for the people that don't know, what an employer is looking for, or uh, your boss, um, what they're looking for is basically, they have a million headaches up here and they just wanna delegate and have all these issues being taken care of. If you're the worker that they never have to worry about or they're like, oh, Sean's got this, that's off my plate. If you can clear the plate of your senior people, you will be one of those people someday. Okay guys, I'm absolutely freezing. The wind is picking up. And uh, anyways, number nine. This is incredibly important if you just want to smile more in your life, and that is surround yourself with positive people. Who likes energy suckers? Nobody, and guess what? You know who else likes positive people? Your upper management, okay? People that you're gonna do deals with. They don't want to be around mopey, crappy, miserable people that don't look inward, that have a, a lousy outward appearance, that, you, you know, the, the, all this stuff goes together. You have to push out the right energy. You have to take care of yourself, take pride in yourself, and just 
that will draw the right people into your life, guys. It really will, guys. It really will. But let me expand on that a little bit more. Guys, surround yourself with people that make you feel good. That's why I'm alone in the forest. <laughs> There's no positive people around here, damn it. Surround yourself with people that charge your batteries. Surround yourself with people that don't have horse blinders on. Surround yourself with people that are accomplishing things in their lives because those people have the right vision. They cut back on their vices. They, they work on themselves every day. They lead by example. These are the people you want to be around, okay? If you're sitting in the bar every night drinking beers in a dark, gloomy, crappy place, really? Is that how you want to spend your time? Our time is precious, guys, and every day that we have is truly a gift. So work on you. Surround yourself by great people. All right, guys, last one, number 10, travel. Please travel, guys. You know, what, is, what does everybody do when they're like 50 or 60 and they retire? They buy an RV and they drive around and they just like, wow, man, I missed my whole life. I worked my whole life away, so now I'm gonna travel. No, don't be that person, man, no. Do it now, because guess what, guys? When you travel, what happens? Your horse blinders stop flopping in the wind, right? Both of them, right? They're flopping, then it just comes off. And then you see the whole world. And you're like, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I can't believe I gave up all of my life when I could have been doing this all along. And guys, traveling inspires you. You meet different people, different cultures, different food. That's the spice of life. That is the spice of life. And if you don't travel, those horse blinders become permanent. All right, guys, so open your mind, expand your horizons, travel. All right, guys? All right, this is the last one, guys. This is a bonus. This is the Shonzo bonus. It's very, very important, guys, that you uh, get your money right. Getting your money right is probably one of the most important things for all of this to work. If your money's not right, you're just going to have those negative things bouncing back and forth in your mind. And when you have too many things bouncing around in your mind, I want you to think of like, let's see. All right, think of a strainer and you just took your uh, your um, macaroni off the oven and you put it in the strainer and you're shaking it all around to get the water out, right? And I use my arm, so I'm working on that, guys. Okay, so you're in the strainer, you're shaking out all that water. Well, that's, that's your brain. So if, if you have all these issues going back and forth all the time about your, your weight or your, your, your insecurities and your horse blinders are stuck to your head and you know, you have your vices, I'm drinking too much, I'm doing this too much, and then you know you're failing at work. So you have all these negative things going on and you have all these negative people in your life that are constantly talking to you about negative stuff and that's going back and forth in your head. When you have all this stuff and then throw in financial woes, no man. That's why your life sucks. You gotta get all that clutter out of your brain. Get your money right. And everything else will fall into place, guys. So none of these really take priority over the other, other than I think physical and mental health is everything because when you put those two together, your mindset will skyrocket. And when you're in the right mindset, guess what, guys? Whoosh! No horse blinders. No bull crap, and life is good. And then you gotta realize how precious life is itself. Bam, there's your formula, guys. Have a great day, live more, but live more wisely. I am frozen. I was in Miami yesterday, 85, it's 39, and I'm dressed very lightly, but I'm still appreciative.